Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to use the rational root theorem to show that the kth root of a prime number p is irrational, uh, assuming k here is an integer greater than or equal to 2. So recall with the rational root theorem, if you have some polynomial, say f of x equal to a n x to the n plus a 1x plus a naught, that the roots of f of x, or roots of f, that are in q, the rational numbers, um, are of the form, well, they're fractions, so they also have, they're of the form b over c, where b divides the constant term and c divides the leading coefficient. All right, so this is going to uh, help you find rational roots, but in this case, it's going to help us show that, well, you don't have roots. So let's first make an observation. Uh, the kth root of p, this is a root of, well, let's call it g of x. So, well, let's see, if I have a kth root, if I get rid of the kth root, I do that by raising something to the kth power. If I raise the kth root of p to the kth power, I get p. So if I subtract p then, I get 0. So this is a polynomial, rational coefficients, even integer coefficients. So we can, we can even say that, integer coefficients. And so I can apply the rational root theorem, and it would tell me that the only roots that are rational g are well, they are going to be fractions where the numerator divides p, or minus p if you like, and the denominator divides, well, the coefficient here is 1, so plus minus 1. So we can ignore that uh, denominator. Uh, so that means they're actually just going to be negative p r p. Okay, of course, neither of them has to be 1. And in fact, neither of them will be because, well, if you take negative p to the k, you get, well, p to the k, and then plus or minus, right? We don't know. Um, but if you subtract p from that, well, it's not going to be 0, because when you raise p to a power which is greater than or equal to 2, which is the assumption on k, then this is going to be strictly greater than p. So subtracting p is not going to give you 0. And similarly, p to the k is going to be greater than p. All right, so this tells us there are no rational roots to g of x, okay? But we know that the kth root of p is a root of g. Well, if there are no rational roots and the kth root of p is a root, that implies by the rational root theorem, the kth root of p cannot be rational. 